I am Xavier Cassel and I will speak about my work on carbon monopole antenna fabrication and characterization at microwaves. This work has been carried out in the multifunctional materials team at the Institute of Electronic and Digital Technologies, University of Rennes in France. The use of carbon fiber tissue as a replacement for a metal rejecting element is investigated here to fabricate microwave antennas embedded into composite material panels. A full composite lesange monopole antenna is to die here because this design is easy to fabricate and to characterize. The radiating element is a single square embedded into an e-glass fiber polyester laminate. This sample is placed on a round plane and fed at the corner through a SMA connector. Moreover, the size of the sample gives the operating frequency of the antenna at microwaves. A full composite antenna and a reference counterpart made from a plain copper sheet are therefore investigated. First of all, the carbon fiber tissue was characterized through a four prop setup. As expected, the sheet resistance of the carbon, carbon fiber tissue is larger than that of the copper sheet, but its value remains satisfactory in view of microwave applications. Electrical conductivity of both samples was computed from the formula here, rating the sheet resistance, the conductivity, and the sheet thickness. It is worth noting that the ohmic resistance of the resisting element is equal to the sheet resistance of the tissue due to its square shape. The dietary characteristics namely the relative permittivity and the loss tangent of the e-glass fiber polyester laminate were performed by the stop perturbation technique. The relative permittivity is equal to 4.5 and the loss tangent equal to 0.01 at 1 gigahertz. The two planar lozenge monopole antennas, carbon fiber and copper counterparts, were fabricated by the infusion process. First, the radiating elements were cut to the required size. Second, four plies of e-glass fiber tissue were placed on the both sides of the radiating element. Third, the set was infused under vacuum with the liquid polyester resin on a glass slab. The polymerization reaction was complete after four hours at room temperatures and the samples were suitable for release without any additional post-bake. Microwave performance of the full composite antenna and of the copper comp counterpart was performed through gain measurement in an anechoid chamber. Below 2.1 GHz, the measured gain of both antennas are strictly alike, demonstrating the relevance of the carbon fiber tissue used as radiating element between 2.1 GHz up to 4.5 GHz, a difference in gain value close to 1 dB is observed. At higher frequencies, the carbon fiber tissue becomes lothy and the difference in gain values is larger from 2 dB up to 5 dB. In closing, I would like to thank very sincerely our final cell supports and you for your kind attention.